Hey guys, this is Hope Set It back with another Hope Set It Uncut video for you. And this week we're talking about kids eating too dang much. I mean, that's just what it is. I mean, we're still on this little quarantine lockdown thing. Although, let me just sidebar, some states have opened up. But like I said on my social medias, as for me and my house, we're going to stay locked down. So don't still try to come over. Don't, I don't care what the governor says. We're still in quarantine, but either way, while we're in quarantine, you know, uh, I think ba basically all schools across the nation, they're closed until the end of the year. So tell me how when schools are in session, kids are able to go to school, maybe get a snack, maybe get a lunch and run off that lunch with recess and they're all good to go. But when they're at home, I'm thinking I got a schedule. Here's your math. Here's your English. Isn't that this time is lunch. This time is reset. Mm -mm, they're always hungry, hungry. All I hear, uh, mommy, can I have more food, please? Mommy, can I have more food, please? Oh my gosh, guys, my grocery bill has doubled and that's not even an exaggeration. I'm not going to tell you the exact number cause it's embarrassing <laughs> how much we pay. Cause we go to the store at least once a week. I mean, it's really probably twice if you think about it, at least once a week. Tomorrow we're gonna have to go again. It's ridiculous. Like, I'm gonna go broke. That's just no two ways about it. I'm just gonna go broke. Cause how, how am I gonna feed these kids? I got three little boys. Three little boys, six and under. My middle son eats four bowls of cereal, including the milk, every time. And that's normal. I go through cereal and milk like hotcakes. Speaking of hotcakes, they eat waffles and pancakes all the time. I have no groceries <laughs> ever. I have to uh, go grocery shopping at least once or twice a week. Once or twice a week. That's ridiculous. The, even with a list, like I will, you know, get groceries. Things will run. It's just running out faster. These kids are no mercy to my wallet. It's it's the topic of this week's blog post at hopesetit.com. Um, I talked about it, just my frustrations about it a little bit. But the cool thing about uh, writing a blog post, having social media, is that you can get feedback about it. So at least it wasn't just a rant. I have some tips to help me to help you save money because these kids are leeches. The first thing, and I kind of alluded to it earlier, is to um, make a list. Make a list and stick to it. That's the main thing. I make lists all the time just as a guideline, you know, but I don't necessarily, this is all that's on the list. You know, I will go to Walmart and I only have five things on the list and I'll come out with 20 because I went down the wrong aisles. That's another tip that someone told me. Yes, make a list, but also just block out the aisles that you don't need to go through. And that's true because I'll go to Walmart and I'll just end up getting lotion because those nice packaging. Oh, this thing for my face. I'm sure I need it. You know, marketing, it gets you every time. So get a list and stick to it. Simple as that. That's how you can um, help budget everything. Mind you, even if I had a list, my, my grocery bill would still be more. Um, but at least I wouldn't be getting my random things piled on with that. And um, with that being said, yes, make a list, but also don't go to the store hungry. And I've heard this many a times, um, but it's true because when I go to the store hungry, I tend to get more snacks and stuff where I'm just like, oh, this looks good. This looks good. This looks good. Um, it's harder for some to do like me. I can't necessarily fill up and then go to the store, but um, just know that sometimes um, your impulse buying based on you just being hungry at the time. So make a list, stick to it, and uh, don't go to the store hungry. Now, second, well, I guess that's third. I don't know, who cares? Stay with it. Meal planning is huge. So um, I think I will start doing that to where you have like a taco Tuesday and pasta, this and that, because I think I'm doing the most. I mean, these kids are getting like broccoli and chicken parmesan and mashed potatoes and uh, you know fried chicken and brisket, yeah, I guess that's my fault. But you have to understand also, you know, I'm, well, I definitely fell off the wagon, but I'm, I, I tend to eat more keto when I'm on top of it. So it's hard for me to just eat pasta and go, that's not what I do. But obviously for my kids, maybe I'm gonna have to. They can eat the pasta, they can eat the rice and tacos. Um, 
and I'm just going to have to have something else or something like that. But either way, that's another good thing. Meal plan and just know what you're eating because that will help you with your list. Full circle. Another tip I had is to buy, um, uh, what do you call it? Store brand items. Now, I don't know what you thought of me, but trust and obey that great value. Oh, well, that's all me. So, <laughs> I mean, I'm not just getting the name brand stuff. I'm going broke and getting store brand. So what am I to do? The last tip is to, and it doesn't work for me, but I'm going to say it for you just in case it would work for you, is to make a daily schedule. I mentioned in the beginning that I already have a schedule. I already have like, you know, 9 to 10 is this, 10 to 11 is this. So they know the schedule. Their stomachs just don't know the schedule. So they know it here, but not here. Um, so that just doesn't, that's not going to work for me. So yes, make a list and stick to the list and don't go to the store hungry and do meal plan. That all will help with your, um, their, your budgeting as well as if it works for your kids, a schedule. Um, but also what I want to know from you guys, I'm asking you guys through this video, what are your couponing tips? Because, um, I, I get it. I can do the list. I can do all that. And it will help. I'm not saying it won't. That will help me. But when it comes to the nitty gritty, I also want to just save money because I got an, a coupon or some deal or something like that. So all of that mixed together will help. Um, and the problem that I have with couponing is that I find a lot of the times that it's for, um, I don't know, like your more toiletries and your cleaning products and your hygienic stuff. Um, and that's cool, but I don't need a whole closet full of toothpaste. Like I, I literally want my milk and cereal too. So how do you make that work? How with extreme couponing? Cause even on TV, that TLC show, extreme couponing, oh, I'll watch that because some people will go to the store with two shopping carts and the store will give them money back. What? Let me get on that level. But then look at their grocery list. I'm like, okay, you buy six things of baking soda. I don't want that. You know, it, I don't know, maybe my food is a little too picky, but you're getting things that I wouldn't buy. You're getting Campbell's soup. Nothing wrong with Campbell's soup. I just don't eat it like that. You're getting a lot of stuff and that's great that you're saving money, but those aren't the groceries I need. So is, is that the point of extreme couponing? Do you kind of have to just go with whatever the coupon says and suck it up? Or is there another way to extreme coupon where you're couponing on the things you actually like? That's the advice I want to hear. If you're an extreme couponer, please hit me up. I don't know what to do. I know there are like, you know, couponing for beginners and I get that for your toiletries and everything like that. Do tell me about that too, but I'm really focused on groceries and how you can save money through the lines. Cause I mean, I'm, I get sticker shocked every time I go through the line. I'm like, Oh, mm. Did the price of milk go up? What's going on? Thank you for the tips you gave me so far and for the tips that you're going to give me. Okay, so my camera battery went out and then my, the SD card or whatever, you know, the card you put into the camera, it keeps on saying that it's full and uh, my stand keeps falling over. So I'm actually holding it right now. Ooh, the ghetto. But that will not stop me. The devil's trying to stop me from getting the deals and I refuse, okay? I'm talking about it and hopefully you guys fill me in on these couponing tips and what else you can do to save money on groceries. All right, that's all for now. Guys, follow my blog post on hopesetit.com. Follow me on social media where all the conversation happens at Hope Set It. And also, um, you know, subscribe to this channel. And if you haven't, is it below down here? I never get it right. It's, it's somewhere. Along down here is where the bell is. Click on that, you'll never miss a notification of my new uploads again. I'll talk to you guys later, bye. Barely keep this together. Fix this, oh!